Hello, talking about flare-ups here. Okay, so a flare-up, inflammation, bowel getting inflamed, ulcerated. Um, from that ulceration then can come bleeding because that's what happens when the cells go, get affected by an environment and go bad. For me, when I was 12 years old at boarding school, I started bleeding from the bowel. However, at that time, I actually thought I'd become a woman because they told me that there would be lots of pain in the stomach region and there would be lots of blood. And I had both of these. So I proudly started walking around school wearing these ridiculous STs. They were nicknamed hamsters hammocks. They were so huge. And um, yeah, I was very, very proud of the fact that I'd got to this stage in my life. However, after two weeks of, of severely bleeding, I started fainting around the school grounds and um, somebody finally picked me up and sent me off to the school sanatorium where they whisked me off to um, the uh, Radcliffe Infirmary in Oxford and I was immediately put on to a steroid enema and I had to lie in, in bed with my feet sort of at the same level of, or a bit higher than my head. So that was, that was, um, yeah, that was what happened next. So flare ups are sometimes quite scary for some people. And I, I would say they'd be more scary for, for an adult or a young adult, uh, someone who isn't a kid just sort of going, okay, this is going on with my body. How strange, or it might be this, or it might be that. But being an adult, I can, I can feel that that could be quite scary for the first time ever bleeding from the bowel or experiencing extreme, you know, pain, spasms in the gut due to the ulceration in the gut. So now understanding what I understand, and if you look at some of my videos, you'll know that I'm not a friend of cortisol or high levels of it anyway. Becoming more peaceful in yourself and observe what's going on. And if you're bleeding, um, ring the doctor straight away. Go and see your doctor. Go and because that's not good stuff. You want to go and get that sorted out straight away. And while you're being looked after a doctor and while they may be putting you on steroids or salazapyrine or any of those mesosal, any of those drugs, there's a lot that you can do for yourself. And number one is relax. <laughs> it's so easy to say, it's so not easy to do, and I get that. However, just relax and don't stress because it's happening. It is what it is, okay? And start really calming yourself down, breathing, finding peace in your life. If there isn't peace in your life, look to creating peace in your life. So if something's negative or you're around negative people, get away from them. Um, be in peaceful surroundings so that you're, uh, I'm going to use the word energy here, the energy surrounding you is, is, is of a peaceful nature. Um, the best bit is when the energy around you isn't of a peaceful nature and you can still be peaceful. That's a good one. Then what you put into your into your body. So with your foods, cut meat out um, at least for two weeks, if not more, maybe just because it's hard to digest when you're having a flare up. Um, I've talked about foods to eat when you're in a, a stressful situation or when you're having a flare up, I'm sure before. But I'm going to talk about it again. Um, there are many uh, bits of research that are now coming up. It's funny how information is changing all the time. Don't get stuck thinking you know what you know because it may change and then you'll be just stuck. So I'm just going to share a little uh, thing that was sent to me. It's called off this thing called Green Med TV, Health, Nutrition and the Environment. And it's just a, a little piece that they've got there. If you go onto their website, green, TV Green Med 
www.medinfo.com. Um, the title of this one is The Best Result in Relapse Prevention Ever, Healing Crohn's Disease with Diet. Well, diet will help, but you need to fix the other environment between your ears. Anyway, that's another story. So just looking at this particular part of their video, they're talking about animal protein intake and the risk of inflammatory bowel disease, the E3N prospective study. So there was a study done on this. Don't you love studies? So normally they you know, take a group of people and they divide them into two parts and, and, and see what, what's what. So just, as, just this sentence has come up, I've got it on, on, on pause. We've known that meat, cheese, fish, animal protein in general has found to increase the risk of developing inflammatory bowel disease. But what about plants? Now, I'm not saying what they're saying is true. I'm just telling you what they're saying. So what they're saying is, uh, what about plants? Not to just prevent, prevent the, the inflammation, but to actually treat it. On here, there are thoughts that a plant-based diet, you get your protein from your, your lentils, your chickpeas, um, and other, other forms of protein. I'm sure you know lots more about it than I do. Um, it could be a good way to go when you're having a flare-up. And then if you're really into meat, then go for meat later on once it's repaired. Because as your bowel lining is, is so ulcered, it's not taking in any stuff anyway. It'll just chuck it back out. You know, and you, you're either going to go from chronic diarrhea in this case or go through um, chronic constipation. Why the constipation? Unfortunately, the drugs that uh, that you know we're given for this particular state of symptoms are usually prednisone or um, mesosal, salazapyrine, any of those. Sulfur. It's got sulfur in it, in that salazapyrine. It's a drying out thing. They dry you up. You can suffer from dry mouth. So you're going to have to put in lots and lots of water. Um, and when you have a, a, a drying out form of medication, it takes all the fluid out of the bowel. Whatever's in the bowel just, just takes the fluid. The body needs the fluid. It uses it. So we're made up of a lot of water. So if we're not drinking water or enough water and we're taking medicines that are removing water, um, then the bowel matter slows down and, and it, oh, it's painful. It's unbelievably painful. It's horrible. Mm. I have to tell you, my heart absolutely yeah, breaks when I look at the um, Crohn's and Colitis' website. And also because very often nobody's talking about how you're feeling. It's all about, you know, the drugs that can be taken or, or the operations or the this's and the that's and there's so much more to why these things are happening in the body. That's just my understanding, of course. And who am I? Anyway, I'm just wanting change. I'm wanting change for anybody who suffers anything, even if it's just anger or irritation or frustration or low self-esteem or just anything. I sound like a happy clappy now. <laughs> There's the clap. Anyway, I wish you all the best. And um, yeah, message here. Just, yeah, just relax and um, be good to yourself. Okay.